Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing how to live stream, should you wish, to YouTube using just a Pico 4. Now it does include extra hardware that you need, but again I'm going to get to that. What I'm actually doing here, and I'm going to apologise first of all for the audio quality, I am recording from the GoPro that is also plugged in to this Pico 4. And you can see there's only one cable here coming up to the Pico 4. I'm not cast into a browser, I'm not using my PC, the PC is not on, I might be able to turn my screen for you to see there's nothing on there. So what I'm doing here is using an application called USB Dual Camera and that's side loaded onto the Pico 4 itself, which allows me to basically put two inputs from obviously a USB device into this and record or live stream to YouTube. Now, the problem I've got with this microphone setup at the moment, and this I have got a lavier, but it's not working, obviously. The Camera, uh, camera application will let you use your own microphone, but that's only applicable to the single USB camera application. So if you just want the view of the headset, that's obviously uh, the other side of your screen. If you just want that as your feed, you can use the inbuilt microphone of the headset, but it doesn't actually have any of the noise cancellation. So it's gonna be quite loud. Um, you will need to obviously balance that within the game because the game recording will come back as full blast volume so again there's a bit of jankiness to this setup i would love audio controls on this application but that's entirely down to the developer to add that so what i'm what i'm doing here and i will go into my pass through because you'll be able to see this on the actual um, feed of the headset so if i double tap in the pass through here thanks to pico allowing stuff to run in the background um what i've got and hopefully you can see this in uh, in quite low light i've got a USB-C hub, which has got power, so I can actually do this powered. I'm using the feature of the Pico 4, which is the powered on-the-go mode, because these are heavy devices to run. So again, I've shown previous videos with all janky setups, but it's a USB-C hub that has a HDMI output. So this HDMI output is basically outputting what the Pico 4 sees, which is obviously the pass-through right now. That is going into a USB-C capture card, or USB capture card, as to say. And because I want two devices, I obviously could feed this cable straight back into the USB port on this hub. So essentially the video is coming out and it's going straight back in as a, as a capture device. But because I've got two feeds going, I actually need to add a hub to this. So I've just got a generic USB port hub, another capture card that is then going up to the GoPro. I have tried many different setups here, so I can actually use a webcam. So the C920 has got really good visuals, but the microphone's got a problem. It, it just bursts random noise at you, so that's um, unusable. I've used sort of a, a cheap little dash cam camera that I've had before that acts as a webcam, but a microphone isn't working. So it's obviously just streaming the video. And I've tried obviously getting a microphone to go into my GoPro, but due to how that GoPro uh, the operates um, the ports are right next to each other and i can't get the two ports together so if you had a better camera setup you could actually just obviously have a lavier microphone onto your camera and it will pick up that that's as the uh, the input source so yeah this is a little bit janky i'll get back to vision so i can see what i'm showing you guys obviously know what a know what a feed is so i can compress this down obviously if you just want to do a single recording from the headset you can just loop the capture card back into the USB input. So essentially that is uh, just taking the feed that you see, putting it back into the application. So then you can stream that application or record that application onto, onto YouTube or onto your headset. So with this setup, obviously when I go into a game, you're gonna hear, you hear all the game sound, that's no problem. But again, with this problem I've got with the microphone of the GoPro, um, that's gonna get drowned out. So even if you had a decent sort of microphone setup, what you're going to find is you're going to need to have a game that you can lower the audio on the game itself because the microphone volume can't be adjusted in this application. And the game audio is just going to be recorded absolutely full blast, regardless of what your headset volume is. So there's a few things you need to do on the setup. I have shown this obviously in a previous video going into a phone. It's the same idea. All it is is a USB dual camera rather than USB camera. So this just plugs in and works. I can go through all the, the menu systems on the headset. Um, the great thing about this application is you can start recording and very simply just go into your file manager, 
USB dual camera here. And then essentially you can watch back your footage, make sure it all lines up and sort of looks good. Um, again, it's just su super easy to, to do this because all you're doing is essentially taking the feed out of the headset, putting it back into a USB, back into the headset as a USB capture. So super simple, but you do need the extra hardware to do it. Um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be HDMI capture cards. You can do it with a, a USB webcam like I've shown, just a, a Logitech webcam that seemed to work, but the, again, the audio doesn't. Um, but all of the game audio and stuff is going to be absolutely fine on your recording. So I won't go into a game because, again, I've shown that working before on the previous app. You don't have to have this on your screen either. Um, you can now see, obviously, the recording is still going to be showing me. But if you look at what I see, I no longer see that, that window that you guys can see. That's always going to be recording or streaming. So, yeah, pretty janky setup. Um, I'm going to finesse it a little bit. I want to get the microphone sorted because that's sort of the, the last piece of the puzzle, really. And then, yeah, it basically allows you to just do live streams if you want to do live streams. Um, the application does have YouTube or sort of the... Um, I forgot what the bloody URL, HTML, RTMP, whatever the hell it is, to push to whatever website. Um, and yeah, it just gives you two cameras if you want two cameras. So, very cool. I'd like to see a, a native application actually do this, but this is a solution if you are desperate. You're not going to have YouTube chat. That's the that's the main thing. So, if you want like a, a chat window, I would suggest just having that on your phone, peeking at the nose hole if you've not got a silly tight faceplate to check your phone for a chat or have some sort of text-to-speech sort of thing going so you can hear it um, run run either in the web browser, the Pico, or gen generally on your phone, on a separate headphone. So, very janky, very stupid. Um, you don't see many videos like this from me, so I'm always experimenting, always tinkering. I love just pushing the Picos for what I, as how, how much they can do. Um, how much that's going to go in the future, I don't know with the news that's going around. So, yeah, let's see. So if you've got any use for this, by all means, give it a go.